What's up everybody? My name is Colton Angel and this is the College Cookbook. So this is the first episode and with this channel I just want to show college students around the world how to cook cheap and easy meals and to do that I kind of want to show you what I have in my kitchen first. So I don't have anything crazy, nothing that you guys probably don't have at home. So let's get started. Okay up first I'm just going to show you some of our, some of my nice easy tools that you guys probably all have at home. So first off metal spatula. I use this when like we're grilling big things, but really we just use this. This is our plastic spatula. I use this in like your nonstick pans and stuff so you don't scratch them up. Um, this is probably going to need to be replaced here soon just because it's melting down a little bit. Here we have dry measuring cups. Now you're probably thinking, Colton, why don't you have liquid measuring cups? Because I don't have money to spend on liquid measuring cups. Dry measuring cups pretty much do the same thing, but you just, with the liquid measuring cup, you get the exact measurement of liquid items because it has like it goes all the way up and it's like see through so you can see where you're at. But with these, I just fill them up, put a little extra in there. Don't really measure a whole lot of things here unless we're baking, that's when you kind of need to be precise. So I just sprinkle a little bit on top. And here I have a knife, not a chef's knife. This is actually just a, it's a poultry knife, very niche item, but I use it as my chef's knife, very <laughs> But so how I kind of got into cooking, one of the first things I ever cooked was a turkey for Thanksgiving whole turkey. I just wanted to cook. We had a Friendsgiving here, so I just wanted to cook. I wanted to be the guy that cooked the turkey, you know, have a big energy right there. But uh, my friends and I decided to have a Friendsgiving and I was like, boom, I'm going to take care of the turkey. Don't worry about it. We don't need to ask anyone's mom to do it. I'll do it. Go to Walmart. Turkeys are way more expensive than I thought. So I already kind of took a hit there. But then I was at TJ Maxx shopping around with my girlfriend and I saw this knife and I saw a roasting pan up there. Probably don't need one of those ever unless you're gonna make a turkey, so I'm not gonna show you that. But, um, so I got this knife. It worked great for like two days and it got really dull and that's kind of but I still use it for everything. So yeah, I don't have like crazy knife skills or anything, so like watching this channel, you're probably gonna be like, oh, this is really easy for me to do because it's not watching professional chefs chop at five million miles per hour. Might invest in chef's knife in the future, but for right now, that's all I use. All right, up next we have our pans. So here we have a bunch of nonstick pans. These are, everyone probably has nonstick pans at home, what most people have, but we have so many because I've, I live with three other guys and we all just brought a bunch of stuff together when we moved in. So we have two here that are pretty much the same size. Um, keep them pretty nice, but like I said, don't use anything metal in these because um, you don't need to. Small ones are good for frying up eggs or um, anything small, an omelet or something. But then we have this big guy here that has been used so much. So many things have been cut in here. Metal has been scratching it. Probably need to get a new one, but it still works all right. Um, maybe train your roommates on how to use your things sometimes so this doesn't happen. And then here I just have, probably this is definitely not a necessity, but this is just a nonstick skillet type thing with um, little ridges on the bottom so you can kind of get some grill marks on your things. This would be good for like chicken breast or other meats that you want nice grill marks on like a steak or fish or something. Okay, moving on to our pots. So, yeah, not a lot of big pots. We've got three very small pots, good for cooking up ramen and some soups, but not much other than that. Yeah, so I suggest you probably get a bigger pot than these, but these we've been doing fine with these. I mean, they're all pretty old, but they still work. We eat a lot of ramen in this apartment, so these are these get the job done for that. Don't use pots for much else. This is probably my favorite kitchen item right now. It's just a big like saucepan slash skillet type thing. Non-stick, super strong. Got it from Walmart. This one was like 15, 20 bucks, so definitely affordable. Um, I use this to cook gravy and other like um, I finish some pastas in here, so if you're cooking spaghetti somewhere else, um, make some sauce in here, and then put the noodles right in here, and you can cover it and let it cook, let it stew up for a little bit. Really nice. Take care of your thing. Oh. All right. Up next, we got some cutting boards. So here's a nice wooden cutting board. This I got this I got with the roasting pan and my knife I got when I wanted to cook the turkey for Thanksgiving. But I mean, it's been great. I've used it a lot since then. This is used for like cutting up veggies and other things. And then one like this is what you want to cook meat on, or not cook meat on, cut meat on. Uh, you don't want to cut meat on this. Um, 
the raw juices and stuff could like seep into the wood. And you're gonna cross contaminate a bunch of things. So meat on plastic, veggies and other things on the wood. All right, here is, this thing's a miracle worker. This is called an air fryer. Air fryers are kind of like a wonder of the world because what is it? It fries things with air, it doesn't make sense, right? But it just has a small basket. Good for when you want to fry things, like deep fry, but this is a little healthier. These I think are kind of expensive, but I got this gifted to me. A lot of college students probably have these. These like, have been famous, like a trend nowadays, but it's pretty much just a tiny oven that cooks things all around. Um, not really pressurized, like a pressure cooker or a, um, what are those called? Pressure cooker. Instant pot, not an instant pot. Don't have an instant pot. I think I'd like an instant pot, but yeah, air fryer. If you have one, great. If you don't, you don't really need to buy one. Here we got a crock pot. Everyone probably has a crock pot. If you don't, your mom probably has a few that you can borrow one from her. But this one's just like a medium sized crock pot. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's not huge, not tiny. We have a tiny one for like dipping sauces, but this is the one we usually use. Crock pots are good for um, cooking things really like slow, slow heat for a long time to make things tender. So um, one time I made some shredded chicken in here for like a big nacho bar. We were having a lot of people over. So I made um, some ground beef and then I made some chicken in this. So the chicken got really tender. You put your food in, turn it on, turn it on high, turn it on low, turn it on, what's it got? High, low, keep warm. Those are your only settings. I think keep warm is lower than low. So it's pretty much just high, medium, and low. So what you do with that, turn it on, cook your things, go to class, you can leave it on the whole time, come back, your apartment's not gonna be burned down or anything. Um, yeah, it's good just for cooking things. Whenever you're not there, it just does the job, you come back and then you can just dig in. Crock pot, would I consider this an essential? Probably. Toaster, everyone's probably got a toaster, don't really need to say much about this, right? Yeah. This one only has two things, so it's pretty slow, but. Up next is a cast iron skillet. So I probably don't, or I'm not gonna expect most college students to have a cast iron skillet. But if you do, I might be cooking a few things in here. Um, really, you can do anything in a cast iron skillet that you can in a nonstick. You're just gonna get a lot higher heat and a lot um, more like direct um, cooking with the cast iron. So you can heat this thing up and get a nice crust on a steak, pop it in the oven, finish it through. So cast irons, I wouldn't consider an essential, but they can kind of take your food to the next level, if you know what I mean. Here we got a wok. This is probably the thing in this kitchen. Got it at Walmart for like $3. Uh, it was on sale. Talked to the guy at Walmart. He's like, yeah, dude, these are awesome. I bought like five of them. Why do you need five woks? I don't know. I used it probably three times. Very disappointed every single time. It just sticks to it like crazy. Um, but I mean, it's, it doesn't even get like an even cook around. I don't know why this is. I mean, woks are essential, yes, but this no, like woks serve their purpose. You can probably do anything in one of my pans that I'll be showing you without a wok. So, I mean, I cook things in here and it does the job, it's just not good at all. You just gotta load it up with a bunch of oil or butter and just turn the heat up and stir like a freaking madman or woman. This, this is amazing. It's probably also one of my favorite things in the kitchen. I, I've had this since my senior year of high school. Got this as a gift from my older brother, as a graduation gift. Thank you, Austin. I've used this so many times since. Really good for cooking. Anything that you need, like a nice, even cook off, like French toast, pancakes. Um, you can do smash burgers on here, sausage. These are super easy to clean. Um, I don't like clean it with soap or water or anything. I just wipe it down with a wet rag, get most of the burn marks off. So it's kind of like a cast iron skillet. You don't really want to like get it super clean. You just, there's like specific ways to clean things. So yeah, this is an electric griddle. Um, if you don't have one of these, they're not very expensive. So I recommend getting your hands on one. Um, my roommates use it all the time. It's just it's a really universal thing. Honestly, I've not used this yet, but I need to. This is an electric kitchen scale. 
I've opened it before. No, I know it looks like I haven't, but I have opened it and tested it. But yeah, so this. This has, uh, you turn it on, oh God, I do not use it, but it's really good for like exact measurements. Usually recipes have um, like different methods of measuring. So you'll have like, you do want it in cups, liters, metric, uh, metric liters, I think that's the same thing. But <laughs> yeah, all right, don't quote me on that. If you want really precise measurements, you're gonna wanna use grams or like weight. So this just gets really easy. You can put a bowl on it. Put a bowl on it. It's gonna weigh it and you can just zero it out. Yeah, you zero it out and then you can fill it up. That way you can measure things directly in a bowl, take it off, and then there you have your ingredients right there already in a bowl. No need to transfer anything over. So this, um, like I said, I don't measure things a lot. Don't do a lot of baking, but when I do, this really comes in handy. Like five seconds ago, I just said I don't, haven't used this at all, but when I do bake, this will come in handy. How about that? I mean, other than like super shitty knives and stuff from Walmart, kitchen scissors, some pans and there's some like baking sheets and stuff, that's really all I have. So like I said, these things are things you'll most likely have in your kitchens, um, probably not in a dorm, but like in an apartment, in, um, I mean, you might have these things in a dorm, some of them. If you're a college student, if you're not a college student, turn the video off, get out of here. But if you are, um, these things are things you most likely have. You'll be able to follow along with this channel, learn really easy, cheap recipes to make really good food. Uh, oh yeah, this, apron. Is this apron? Why do I have an apron on? I'm not cooking anything. The apron is just to make me look like I know what I'm doing. The apron just makes me, makes me think I know what I'm doing, makes it look like I know what I'm doing. But really, I just wing it. Have a stove top here. These are just cow rod stove tops, electric powered. So bad. I wish we had gas grill or gas stove, but it gets the job done. Standard oven, microwave. This is what I'll be using to cook. Not a lot of things, but hopefully we create a lot of good food here. Things that you can make at home, things that you can make in your apartment, in your dorm. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, like, subscribe. Leave a comment maybe, and um, yeah, stay tuned for our next episode where we'll actually make something, where we'll actually make something um, with the things I showed you today. So yeah, thank you. I'm the camera woman here. What's going on, everybody? My name is Colton Angel, and I'm actually. Uh, what do I want to say? How do I want to start it? All right, I got it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>